Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Stranded Deep. And I'm just on my way home from the other island there, I didn't really find too much, nothing respawned overnight. I had to find something to drink and something to eat, like usual. And I'm just heading back, and it's actually easy to find the island, because you can actually see the red container out there. So that's pretty good. But, good thing today is, today we should be able to make a proper raft, so we don't have this thing, we can use the... Uh, the wind and the rudder to be able to move her a little bit better, and we'll have a little bit of a sh roof over our head, so we'll have some shade. And, yeah, I want to get that going today, maybe we can start looking around a little more. Uh, I'm going to try to try to remember which direction things are in. Uh, in this case, uh, was it southeast went to that island. Um... I have messed around in the cartographer before. There's actually a cartographer, which is a world editor, where you can see the islands and where they are and where the mission tiles are. There are certain areas where you can have like these towers, which trigger missions and and whatnot. But yeah, we're not gonna worry too much about those. But uh, anyways, north is not. If you were to do a five by five grid like that, north isn't the center tile at the top. It's actually on a diagonal, so one of the corners is north, one of the corners is south. So, yeah, so that's how it works. So if you were to follow the islands in a line, you're actually traveling northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, that sort of deal. But anyways, uh, I'm going to do a cut here, and I'll bring you back once I reach shore. Ah, home sweet home. Feels good to be back on dry land. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Get back in there. Attach that. Okay, let's get out. Let's grab uh, this. Get this out. Yes, I know I need to find water. Fortunately, I have water waiting for me. All right, I'll drop that there. Let's go run over here. And we'll just put that down for now. We can make a hook where we can hang it on the wall. Uh, I need water. And fortunately, I have water. Aha. Oh, so much better. Okay, oh, we gotta... We gotta fill you back up. See, uh, this here, I'm pretty sure this is... These got moved out of the way because of the... The rain, uh, the swells in the storm. Yeah. Okay, that is going. Uh, so, we eventually we're gonna have to start getting stuff in better places where it won't get washed away. But this is good. We have... Let's drop that one down and drop that one down on why I was auto walking. Oh, get that down. All right, so we have three cloths in there. We got the fuel lashing. We'll pick that up, and that's not what I wanted to do. Do that now. We can go and that's the first thing we're gonna make. We are actually gonna get our raft up and built here. I need sticks for a sail. Oh, my yucca screw again. Perfect. And that was actually something I wanted to do before I left, was grab some sticks, but I didn't have the inventory space. And nothing has grown. Oh, this is not good. We're going to have to go on some wood runs by the looks of it. Really? Nothing. Sad music plays as I contemplate cutting down my last two trees. Well, it's not the last two, but... Yeah. Hmm. Nothing's washed up yet. But the fibers keep showing up. That's good. Well, I guess I'm going to have to cut down another tree. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll cut this one down. We'll get more wood out of it. Oh, there's two of them here. All right, we'll cut the bigger one down. And why is it taking so long to cut it down? Oh, because I'm hungry. That's why. Ooh. I wouldn't have been hungry anymore. Anyway, I'm going to cut these down and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to go. Okay, that was quick. Uh, what I do need to do, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to go grab the hammer and lay the hammer down. No. We're going to go in here. We're going to build a f wood floor. That was actually one of the things I missed from before was the driftwood you used to be able to find. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make a sail. Okay, now where is this going to go? 
How is this going to go? Oh, I like that. Points of direction. Okay, we are going to put that here then. Okay. And then we are going to build... Need more wood for a roof. But we're going to see if we can place that rudder on here. And it won't work because... I need to get this in the water. And we're actually going to turn this around because I don't want this thing floating around, floating away on me. And then what we may do as we go to other islands, we may cut down a couple of trees just to add an addition or two. Okay, and let's go to rudder. Let's get on this on before it floats away. Too late. Come on. Come on. And I really don't want to have to drag it because I have to get back into the menu again. Ah! Uh, oh, you're so lucky I don't have have my axe on me. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, get in there, please. Yeah, the current is not helping. Yeah, let's get out here and... Oh, that's not... <sighs> Gotta love currents. Yes, I know I'm fumbling with this on camera. I gotta be quick here. So. And I hit the wrong button. Of course I did. Why do you do it that way? The game does not want to cooperate with me. But hey, that's like in the real world, right? You try to do anything in the real world, life is gonna give you a hard time. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Put you up there for now, and we'll take you for a test run. Uh, soon. Next is going to be a uh, raft canopy. So I need to find four more sticks and an axe. There's the axe. And no sticks. Now we're going to need firewood too. That kind of sucks. Ugh. And I think of all the wood I've wasted because I poorly place things. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go deforest in neighboring island. Like this is literally it. Oh well. It's all in the name of survival, right? It'd be nice if you could actually grow trees, but I'm sure it would take in game probably a couple of weeks just because it's realistic, you know. Uh, the crops don't take actually six months to grow. So it's almost like one day is like one week. Sorry, deal. So we could try something like that. But now, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, oh. That's not what I was looking for. Ah. No. No, no, no. Aha. Now, hopefully. Perfect. So now we actually have protection. So now we can go and let's actually take it for a test spin. Why not, huh? Okay, hold space. And then eat a raise the sail. And apparently it's not going to work too well if we're going backwards. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, Q&E. Oh, that is so cool. You can actually do everything properly now. Turn the sail and the rudder. Uh, I need to get out of this. How do I get out? Okay. Let's give this a shot, shall we? This is like a whole new boating mechanic for me. Hey, right, climb. Let's go on here. Let's operate this ah uh, of course uh, hmm see we don't have a reverse so that's the problem this is where the anchor comes in handy I probably should probably shouldn't make one of them all right let's uh see if we can get this out maybe I can get to the rudder right away okay Aha. 
Now we're sailing. That's cool. It's not the easiest thing in the world to to pilot, but hey, I'm, I'm so used to things being different. And you also have to watch where your wind's going too now. All right, let's see if I can get this thing back to land without killing myself. That's the wrong way. Cool. And apparently you can put storages on here now too. Oh, this is going to take some time to get used to. See, now we're getting into the headwind. I got to see if we can get this thing back to the island. Oh my god, come on. Oh, the rudder's spring-loaded. Okay, that makes sense now. Well, not spring-loaded, but it returns. Okay. That explains why I was having trouble with this. So there we go. We have our first boat. And soon it's going to be a tanker of a warship. Probably not. Okay, let's not step on the purple welcome mat. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. Drag this up on shore until I can make an anchor. And uh, there we go. So now what's next? Uh, I gotta find some food. Get up some wood. And I don't think I have much left to burn on this island, but we'll find out. My god, look at that thing. No wonder it hurt. Can I not attack you? Apparently not. Yeah, stay away from the purple starfish. Okay, well, I wasn't able to find too much. I found a couple of crabs, which is about all I can really expect. But what I want to do while we're waiting for this is I want to make that hook. Now, where was that hook? Uh, you can make fishing bobbers out of the uh, spool, the uh, floats whenever we get to them. Uh, yeah, where was the hook? Oh, that's going to be under buildings, is it not? Where would it be? I remember seeing the hook in here somewhere. I think it's in here. And I'll probably end up getting into fishing in the next episode, maybe even a fishing spear. Because, uh, yeah, fighting crab isn't the easiest thing in the world. Uh, where is the hook? I am missing it here somewhere. Of course I am. Not in there. At least we're close to the fuel station. And uh, yeah, we can make chairs, shelves. Oh, there's a hook. Two sticks. Okay, that's good. Uh, what else do I want to check up? I want to see about the the motor. What do we actually need for the motor? So I have the electronic part, fuel part. Filter part, engine part, and duct tape. Oh, food's done. I'll take that off, and then uh, let the other one go. There you are. Okay, we'll eat that and do that. It'd be nice if they kept them separate on the in your inventory, cooked and uncooked. All right, well, that is that. So, again, what did we have here? So, we got that, we got the duct tape. We have more or less what we need. Uh, could use a corrugated scrap to make uh, expander uh, raft a little bit, and that was for we can use it for breathing underwater or uh, a spear gun. But let's see how I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna finish up that crab once it's done, take a nap, and I will meet you in the morning. Okay, it is a new day. Uh, vital could be better. I could use more food. I wasn't finding too many, too many crabs last night. I made a whole bunch more lashings too, so uh, that'll come in handy when we need them. At least we don't have to worry about getting them now. Now I gotta find my knife again, so I can go hunt down some crab. Because these guys are getting scarce. Actually, we were gonna look at making a fishing spear, were we not? Uh, let's see here, fishing spear. Fishing rod. Just one stick. Just one stick. Be nice if I had one stick laying around. Hmm. 
We might have... I was actually thinking about going checking out another boat, too. Just because... I guess I could munch on a bit of a coconut for now. Uh, it seems to be that you can eat a little bit of it before it starts becoming an issue. So maybe we'll not drop my knife. I'll actually drop the coconut. And we'll chop it open. I'm not going to worry about the coconut milk. Because maybe I can get away with eating two pieces of this and not get sick. We're going to find out. Okay. I survived. Uh, is there anything I want to drop up that I don't want to lose? The hammer for one. And I don't know which one I've been to. I don't know if I've been to that one or not. But I think we're going to go check it out anyways. And see what we have inside. Oh yeah, I forgot what was in here. Oh yeah, that plant. The mysterious plant. Uh, we'll drop that. We will drop that. Uh, we'll drop the cloth. And the hammer. And the ajuga. Which apparently helps me breathe underwater. Coconut flask. We will top you up. Oh. Maybe not. Close enough. Alright, well I should just drop those for now because I want space. Alright, let's, let's go do this. Don't hurt me. I just want to survive like you. Have I been to this one? I think I have. I think I have, yes. Oh, maybe not. Alright, let's go up. Uh, is there anything else down here? Actually, I probably came by and just grabbed a box out the... Oh, don't scare me like that. Yeah, that's, I think that's all we're going to find on this one. Let's get back up. We'll run back over here, and then we'll see what else we can find. I didn't actually get anything except for something I think I already have. Huh. Yeah, because I know there's a couple of wrecks I've been too chicken to go investigate, but we've survived a week. I think we can take the chance. Uh, still haven't grown any food yet. That's a shame. Alright, so I got that one there. We've been to this one. Maybe... I have no idea. Let's go check this one out. I think I've been to this one already. I think it's that one I need to go to. Let's go for it. As long as there's no sharkies, then I am fine. I gotta wait for my stamina to build up. I do not like the feeling of this. Oh, uh, we'll just take the crate. We're not going to worry about what's inside. More barrels. Nice. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Uh, okay. And, and the console. Come on. Uh, up, up. Oh, I already have that already. Is there a box on the floor? Is there? Uh, okay. And no. So I think I don't like... Well, swimming in this game is, in most games, to go up the old space. In this one, you actually have to point in the direction you want to go, and actually go in that direction. Alright, we survived that one. There's nothing on here. We already checked that out. Okay. We'll go over here. We'll avoid anything that's colorful. Like this guy over here. And let's see what we got. Got some more corrugated, another one of those. I think I got the lashing out of it. Oh, more lashing and some food and another hammer. Good. Just what I need. More stuff I don't have. I already have. But at least I have crates for storage. So we've been to that one. Actually, no, we went to that one first. Let's do it. While my heart's still beating. This is the one the shark's going to be hiding at. Right? Oh, 
hello, I'm gonna take that, get that out of my face. Gotta watch out for the fishies too. Uh, oh. ah, yeah. As you can tell, I'm a little jumpy. That really, really scared me. I thought something bit me when I gasped for air like that. Okay, I believe this one has a second area below. Whether or not I actually want to chance it. Alright, let's see what's in the mystery box. Planks, another tarp, and another hammer. Well, I'll never have to build a hammer again. But at least we got crates, so we got storage. Alright, what else do we have? I think that's all the wrecks. You know what? I was going to go check, look inside this one. This may be a very, very, very bad idea. Chances are it is. Stingray. Okay. See, there is a room in there. And more barrels. Ooh. I say we go for it. If I could fit through. No. Oh, that is so mean. I thought that was the second way to get in these. Oh, hello, turtle. It can be peaceful. And at the same time, it can be downright terrifying. Okay, there's another way in. Oh, there's a way in right there. Oh, I should have known that. Whoa! Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. I haven't been bitten yet. At least I should be safe down here until I run out of oxygen. And I can't even get in. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh. Oh, what's that? Come on. Come on. Let me... Aha! I actually need that. That was one thing I didn't have. Oh, that was worth it. And now I'm being eaten by a shark. So now I gotta run. I gotta swim as fast as I can. Oh my god. Is he still there? No, he's not. Oh, is that clay? That is. You stay away. I'm sorry. I do not like being in the ocean. Why I play this game is beyond me. Alright, so I have vehicle part, filter part, engine part, filter, gyrocopter vehicle part. Oh, that's not even what I was looking for. Because I want the, the boat motor. That's what I want. Hmm. All right, more junk to add to the pile, and I figured out the auto walk. It's actually double tapping forward and it creates the auto walk. All right, well we can j drop all that scrap metal here, and probably call the episode. Um, I think next one we might try to get some food gathered up, uh, get into some fishing. Actually, that's what I was gonna do. We're gonna make a fishing rod. Cut down my last tree if there is one. I have two. Two trees. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to go on a logging run by the looks of it. Take some em empty crates with us. We'll go hit up an island and chop down all the trees. That one's got. Oh. Yeah. That, that island has those taller trees. Now, those taller trees, as far as I know, cannot be harvested, only the palm trees. There's another one over there. And I think that's where we just were, because that's where the boat is. Yeah. So, I'm going to cut this down. We actually need firewood, too, because I'm burning palm fronds. And I'm hoping that they add some sort of renewable fuel source for the campfires. Because to be quite honest, trying to cut down trees to burn... But you never know, they might actually have a, 
a tree farming mechanic implemented implemented at some point in time. Mind you, building structures out of wood isn't always the greatest. Yeah, we're having that. Uh, that's giving me my computer. It's getting a little warm in here, I think. But anyways, uh, let's do one last little thing here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a fishing spear. So now we can use this, and we can go catch the little fishies. Just like that. Grab a starting. Yes. And we go up here. Take that off. We can cook them. Of course, we do have to cook them. Oh, wait. Do I have to actually skin them? Oh, you do. Well, I guess technically it's called gutting, but it's enough of a big steak for a sardine. That's all. I'll certainly admit that. All right. Let's go ahead and attach that. Let's uh, grab the lighter. Excuse me. And let's go ahead and light it. And I think with this, we might end up the episode here. Uh, like I said, next one we're going to go. going to gather up some supplies. i got so many lashes right now, I can make a whole bunch of flasks to carry water. And we'll take some uh, aloe cell with us. Uh, hopefully the aloe will grow by then. And that way we can go do some proper exploring. And with that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And I will see you in the next one. Later.